I'm Liz Cotter Schlax. I'm president and CEO of United Way of Southern Maine, and I want to be known as a community builder. I made Maine home because I grew up here, and I am privileged to have grown up in Waterville, Central Maine. And, but I, like so many people, left the state when I turned 18 and I was gone for 25 years. And I never really thought that I would have the opportunity to come back because I believed all those myths um, that there are no jobs and especially in two um, working uh, professional spouses, you'll never find two jobs in Maine. Um, but we did and I was so lucky when I had the opportunity to come back to my home state and work for an organization that I had already been working for in other parts of the country, United Way, and come lead our local United Way here. It was just a privilege and a great opportunity and I'm so glad that my daughters got to grow up in Maine just like I got to grow up in Maine. So, you know, I've been with United Way now for decades and the reason that I am so committed to it is because it is literally about bringing everyone together to work on things together. That's why it has the name that it has. And I think that our community and our state and our nation need that now more than ever. And so I just um, want to say that whatever talent you have, whatever it is that you're passionate about, your community needs you. And um, I continue to work with United Way because I have the opportunity every day to help people find whatever it is that they can bring to help make our community better. A Mainer that truly inspires me is Senator Mitchell. He um, grew up in Waterville, where I grew up, and um, was an, not only an incredible leader for our state and for our country, and was Senate Majority Leader, and my sister had the privilege of working on his staff, um, but he also did some really important international work um, in brokering the peace accords. And I, um, I think that understanding of global events and understanding how they impact us in our country and, and prioritizing those as well is really important um, to uh, the strength of our country and our state. And so I'm proud that he was a leader on all those levels. So I think the biggest challenge for Portland and for Maine in general right now is understanding how we can tackle the biggest problems that we're facing while also using the amazing resources that we have. And I think we're really good sometimes at touting our incredible resources, whether those are natural resources or human resources, but we are not seeing the connection with the challenges that we're facing that are in exactly those same spaces. So how we leverage these incredible strengths and unique assets that we have to tackle the big problems that we face, I think is just an overall issue that we have to deal with right now. Our greatest asset is our people, but not just the quantity of them, but the rich diversity of them and the unique perspectives, ideas, experiences that they're bringing right now to make Maine even more vibrant. I love to experience the various art venues around our incredible city so um, and area, whether that is actual art galleries or whether that is the performing art spaces. We have a lot of performing artists in my family and we like to go to the theater and concerts and music venues and see um, whatever is being offered. And we have such a rich variety of performances going on uh, at all levels, you know, whether that be high school productions and community theater, all the way up to professional um, groups that come here. So we're very lucky to have the quality um, and the quantity of the arts that we have here in our area. I love so many outdoor spots in Maine, but one that comes to mind that's really special and important to me is Morse Mountain and doing that wonderful hike and then enjoying the peaceful beach at the end is just a great thing that we do with our family. Women leaders are known for being good listeners, I think, and um, for really trying to bring multiple perspectives to tackle a challenge. And I've seen that with the many women leaders that I'm privileged to work with. And I think that is something that we need right now, um, hearing different perspectives. We're not so good at that right now as a country, as a state, as our community. And I think that um, the greater um, voices of women in our community will help to change that.